Hi all, this is uh, Chris Quad here and uh, welcome to my channel. I will be documenting my learning curve of uh, flying FPV. This here is my pretty much my maiden flight with FPV. I was supposed to be using an old banged up Vortex, uh, but that broke down. So my friend Andy uh, had the balls to let me fly his Alien 5 inch, uh, which is a pretty sick quad. And we're also running 4S batteries here. So here we go, lift off. I'm sure Andy's shitting his pants, but I have had a bit of practice with my tiny whoop. I know no comparison between the two, but I have been getting used to it. A bit shaky. I'm also flying on level mode. I really want to um, not use that anymore I want to start doing tacro mode but I think so far so good if anyone can uh, see any mistakes I'm making in my turns please point them out your input would be great for my learning experience according to my friend Andy who thinks that I see it too that in my corners I am using the yaw too much rather than not using the roll. I reckon you believe I've got to roll into the corners and then touch the yaw and then punch out of it to get into those more sharper turns and more sweeping turns as well. A bit about his quad. It's a uh, pretty much identical to Mr. Steele's. He's um, got an Impulse RC Alien 5 inch with the Lumineer Schizo Edition motors 2204 2500 kV. It's got the KISS flight controller and the KISS ESCs, or the KISS 24A ESCs. Um, camera is the Foxy HS1177 and the uh, VTX is the Immersion RC Tramp HV with the TBS Triumph antenna. Uh, we're also flying here HQ durable 5x4 6x3 props and the Turnergy Graphene 1300 mAh power 4S. What a powerful quad for a beginner. But as I said, I am flying in level mode. Sit back in there. As I get some more practice, I'll post some more videos and we can uh, see my improvement. And one day I hope we'll be making some beautiful videos like. Final Glide Australia. I love his work, it's awesome. Well, we're coming to the end of this flight. Beautiful landing. <laughs> okay. In the next clip, I'm going to be showing where we did some of a bit more obstacles. back again and um, now we've moved up the road or across the road um, where there's a better course or better area to fly with more obstacles uh, this is pretty funny because I got a little bit cocky from my earlier flights around the big paddock area where there was just nothing to crash into so this is kind of a good lesson to see um, <laughs> Completely failed that one. So I'll go back and try again. Okay, 
back to my uh, takeoff position after that uh, first failed attempt of a start. Stupid being too cocky. Here we go again. I think I've uh, positioned the quad away from those trees. I'm gonna take off any second. Here we go. Oh, oh, going back to those trees again. That's not uh, turning away. But then again, there's trees everywhere here, so get away from facing us. <laughs> Don't want to crash into us. Better take off. Let's see how long I can uh, last for. With all these obstacles everywhere. Looking around. Just mention again, I have got the quad in. Um, not in acro mode, it's in level mode again still. Um, just uh, never tried acro mode except for my tiny whoop and that was just crazy. But I definitely will be heading into using acro mode as soon as possible as uh, from what I gather it's not a good thing when learning to get used to, to level mode. So I've gone and purchased the liftoff software, the flight simulator, and I'm going to be all week practicing on acro mode in that, on a virtual quad where I can't damage anything or anyone. Looks like my confidence is up on this flight. And I can see I'm using the yaw too much, as Andy said. Full yaw on that time. Another thing to be practicing in, in the flight simulator. Oh, thought I was going to go with the tree then. again, getting overconfident. Please feel free, if I've got any, anyone viewing this, um, please feel free to leave comments if you're an experienced FPV pilot. Just comments on uh, what you see I'm doing wrong and where I can improve and, and how to work on it. That would be much appreciated, thank you. Any help you can get would be awesome. At the end of this flight, I'm going to put another clip up too in this video of some of Andy's flying. He's been doing it for quite a while now and he's, uh, he's pretty good. And he's pretty awesome to have. They're teaching me and giving me pointers and also for letting me use his quad. He's, he's ballsy. I think I've done alright. It's getting close.
Yeah, bam, smash. All over Red Rover. <laughs>